Hello, this is Misconduct. Oh, I'm sorry, Professor Misconduct <laughs> and uh, Student Nia. Student Nia. And we are going to go over some more Professor advanced. Misconduct, Professor, Misconduct, Professor Misconduct, Professor Misconduct. Yes, I, Student Nia. I got you something, Professor Misconduct. <laughs> oh, God, what did you get me? Oh, God. <laughs> You're my favorite teacher ever. <laughs> I'm going to wipe my ass with this apple. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> wow. Anyway, um, reference to our earlier episodes. Yeah. Fans. <laughs> um. So, basically, what we're going to teach you is um, some more advanced techniques today of selecting things and moving them around, and just generally ways that you can change your selection um, without actually having to go and click on corners and whatnot. Um, one thing that I haven't really got over that I would like to go over with you guys, I probably should have done this earlier, if you if you are going to experiment with things, um, one thing to consider doing is doing slash slash limits and then a certain amount of blocks before you start testing things that you have not done. Because what this does is this limits the amount of blocks that you can edit, which means it's basically protection so that you do not completely destroy an entire area of your server on accident. Slash slash limit five million. Is that good? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> seriously though, start off with maybe like a few hundred, a thousand. As you start to get maybe a little more sure of yourself, you can you know increase it to whatever you're comfortable with. But it's uh, you know highly recommended, especially when working with dangerous things such as fences and uh, lava. So, the first thing I'm going to teach you today is going to blow your mind, because it blew mm. my mind a little bit. You always blow my mind. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Anyway. Anywho. Um, <laughs> normally, when you're going to make a selection, you will click each corner, and then you will do, you know, whatever, slash, slash, cut, or copy, and you'll have your square, and it's inside of your square. So, I am going to... <laughs> ma'am. Help. Excuse me. Oh. Can you remove yourself from the testing okay. area, please? Fine. Student Nia? Thanks. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you today how to select an odd shape, and only that shape. It's very exciting. So the first thing you're going to do is do slash slash, sorry, slash slash S-E-L-P-O-L-Y. I know what I'm doing. Wow. I do. Good job. I'm a good teacher. And then... Okay. Uh, just go ahead and hit it, and it'll say 2D Polygon Selector. So, what you'll do is you'll um, either right or left click to start. Oh, um, are you okay? What's going on? Hello? What's the matter? You said slash slash S-E-L poly? Yes, no space, or space, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. I'll, I'll put the command up on the screen, Yay, that's correct, I, I promise. Win. Okay, so the I first win. thing you're going to do for our mm -hmm. first example is you're going to left click just one of these edges that's jutting out or right click whichever one you normally start with I don't care oh god I hit it and it started snowing help me <laughs> help me, do it. Help me. <laughs> it's okay shh, shh. it's okay it's okay shh. it's okay. okay okay here's here's okay. a nifty trick guys slash slash da 50 make all that annoying snow go away all right anyway <laughs> Yes. So first thing you're going to do is left or right click, I don't really care which one, on one of these outer edges. Mm -hmm. And then go ahead and do the opposite of whatever you just did on every single edge that's sticking out. Only the ones that are sticking out that are pink here. Okay. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm so scared, I'm going to fail. You got this. I did it, I did I'm it. Gonna do, I'm going to do a quick example so they can see me doing it. So basically, I'm going to left click okay, yeah. this, and as you can see, starting a new polygon at whatever. Then you're going to go ahead and do the opposite click on each edge that's sticking out of your weird little shape here, so you make it all the way around. Now, ma'am, if you would, please do slash slash cut. Hey, hey! Excuse me! 
Excuse me, student Mia. Do you need to put the dunce cap okay, on you again? Okay, slash slash cut. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look at that! <gasps> I did it! It's all perfect in the same shape. Isn't that fancy, guys? That's awesome. So you can use this to cut out oddly shaped items. Um, takes mm -hmm. a lot of playing around with before you get a feel for it, but once you do, you really appreciate not having to uh, make everything a ginormous square. So, let me change the time to day, and uh, let's go ahead and make a square out of this bad boy here, and stack it about five times. Should I be saying what I'm doing while I'm doing it? Go. Oops. Mm -hmm. No, it's <laughs> You guys know how to do this. You're little pros. Just watch I know the other are. ones. Don't be lazy. Mm -hmm. So normally, if you were going to cut, you know, this whole thing, you would have to click on one corner all the way up here, click on the other corner, oh, which isn't that much trouble, but imagine it's a much bigger area and you don't feel mm. like dealing with that. Yeah. Um, or imagine, you know, your selection is underground or above where you can get to. Mm -hmm. So you've yeah. got those, you do slash slash cut, whatever, that's how you would normally do it. Mm -hmm. Now, another interesting way to do this is to expand your selection. So what you can do is go ahead and just grab one of each side on one layer, or multiple layers, doesn't really matter, just wherever. Bam. Yes. <laughs> You're being disruptive to the class. Okay. Okay. Now normally, if you would cut this, it would just take out the bottom layer. Oh lay. god, no! It doesn't really... Oh. I'm trying to get rid of the whole thing, and... Okay. So, Ooh. my lovely assistant is going to select one of each corner on the bottom layer here, like I just did. Um, I might have been screwing with the trapdoor. Just on the bottom corner? Yeah. Corners? Okay. Alright, now we're going to do... Slash, slash, expand. Mm-hmm. And then how many blocks up is that? One, two, three, five. four. Let's do five up. Expand five up. Now, you can't see it. It doesn't actually do anything, but just go ahead and do slash slash cut now. Ah! Oh! We expanded our invisible selection up without having to go and click each corner. Nice! So another good example of that is you could say make a little square in the ground right here, right? Mm hmm Ma'am? Yes. <laughs> let's make a little square in the ground right here. Okay, let's make a square. Ground. Just, uh, make a pretty square. Okay. Now we're okay. going to do slash slash expand. Mm-hmm. And let's do, like, 50 and then down. Oh, that's dangerous. It's very dangerous. And go All ahead right. and slash slash cut that bad boy. And look Hello. at that. Bam! Mm-hmm. So, right. you know all those times you've been on your server and thought, man, I just want, I just want a really big hole in the ground for no reason. <laughs> I need a this really is how you it. big ass this, hole. This is in the how ground. you. Oh, iron. Now iron do slash pick. slash undo. <sighs> okay. Oh, God, why? <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, um, that's that. Um, there's a little bit more complicated ways you can do this. Um, like, let's say I have this. I mean, keep in mind, these are small-scale examples, but on larger scales, things like this can be extremely handy. And I want to copy this whole thing. One thing that I can do is select each of these middle blocks here. And what you'll do is you'll go ahead and select slash slash outset, and then one automatically cubes out by one block in every direction, the selection that oh, you have. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now, oh. if you cut, you made a whole little square there, instead of just yeah. taking those little two squares from the middle. So, nice. those are some examples. Um, I should mention that the directions like this are just like stack with the expand. There's north, south, east, west, up and down. So, that's yeah. pretty much all there is to it. Alright, so another way that you can do expand, which um, can be pretty damn handy, is uh, with vertical expand, um, which basically means it will expand all the way to the, I, I believe they call it the sky block, and all the way down to bedrock. So, um, our lovely assistant, student Nia, Yay. if you could please just make a random square in the middle here, it doesn't really matter where. Okay. And now you're going to do slash slash expand. Space mm -hmm. vert. 
for vertical, but vert. Okay. All right, and now we'll do slash slash cut. Oh, that's no, no. Oh, why? 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 Oh god, that was funny. Do you see what we do for you, our fans? We risk our lives. I hope that you appreciate my sacrifice that I have made today. How did you die anyway? I don't. You didn't make it to the bottom. I know. I, I died of fall death for not falling. All right, so, as you can see, it killed everything all the way down. If there was stuff above us, it would have tunneled all the way up, completely to the sky. Killed everything in its path. Um, this is just in the region that she had selected. Um, yeah, we say it tunneled to the it. bottom. It tunneled to the bottom. Um, yeah. If you jump in this hole, you will fall through the ends of the earth yeah. and die. I'll give you an example since which... I'm god-moded. Oh. Whee! This is what the bottom of the world looks like, ladies and mm -hmm. gentlemen. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> 